Yem family and um, you guys are highly welcome to Yem family. This is Yemiti. It's your favorite girl, Yemiti V. Yemiti V. After all to you guys. You guys are highly welcome to my channel. And uh, if this is your first time coming to my channel, don't fail to like like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, mm. so that is what we are doing. Done. 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 So, so today I'll be talking on a topic like why should children be fighting for their parents and then you as a child do you think you can fight for your mom or your dad as for me I can't lie to you that I fought for my mom I fought for my mom I that somebody just 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 came to our, our store and she was like I bought something for your mom blah blah one to one thing and she refused to pay my mom I like she refused to pay my mom and not to talk of that she refused to pay her and as well refuses at all that she's even going her. so what happened was that she started insulting my mom blah blah one one thing if you see the anger why I go meet that woman I almost won't see her apart see her you don't understand I wanted to tear her apart I was like let me just tear this woman apart because she, she don't know which mother she's talking to so like this topic just came to me like mm, what what i saw on my way coming so i went to um, um what is it called i went to get some to the grocery store i went to get some 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 stuff that i need or that i will be needing so all of a sudden i saw this particular guy after seeing this particular guy the guy was like it was like I'm ready to fight for my mom. I was like, you want to fight for your mom? Why are you fighting for your mom? Let go of the whole situation. It was like I will fight, definitely fight for my mom. So I was like, you will fight for your mom. Seriously, you will fight for your mom. So what happened was that we, 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 they like they asked us to sanitize our hands and everything before we enter into the grocery store. So we we're like, definitely we are going to sanitize. So we did sanitize and there. Thanks for your welcome. Yeah. It's yeah, nice be, yeah. yeah, definitely. So today we'll be talking on the topic. Let's in, Israel introduce this particular topic, and it's going to be very, very vast, most interesting. So, hand it over to Israel. So it's nice to be here, guys, and and I would like to um, handle uh, what's going on in the world presently. The world is in a present case of chaos. The Corona pandemic is present and. It's all over the globe. And then um, the recent one in the midst of the pandemic is the case of George Floyd, who was killed as a result of um, racism. And then uh, in all this turmoil, I think it's time. It's a perfect situation for us as a children of the world to come and unite and, you know, create a formidable force to fight against all this pandemic to fight against all the heat to fight against all the racial abuse ethnical abuse which has to do with tribalism also in our own country okay you've all heard israel handling this particular issue because we all know that this guy was killed like he was just killed just like that for no mm -hmm. reason and then why should a black man just be killed just like that and without like any cause? If it's a white man, they will surely go to court, settle everything, and um, you understand? Before the guy will like face sentence and everything. But definitely, you can imagine that somebody that wasn't tried at all he was just killed just like that. And then, if we can unite together, come together, and then be as one. Be in perfect unity, you understand? The world will be a perfect place. Huh? Besides that, I would like to say um, practice social distancing. Remember, uh, wash your hands before getting here. I already washed my hands, and I yeah, would also definitely. wash my hands when I'm leaving here. Uh, if you go out, make sure it's important Try as much as possible to stay at home, stay safe. And let's not just fight against coronavirus. Let's fight against racism, tribalism, ethnicism. Let's fight against all these things. 
Let's fight against the nepotism. And let's make our world a better place. Yes, definitely. So I'll do a topic before Israel came in. So I really want him to like handle this topic, like this particular topic that I was trying to like bring out so that you guys can learn from because you all know that we teach ourselves one thing or the other so i was like ah, if it's my mom i'm going to answer the issue like angrily because i've really fought with somebody that argued with my mom i don't know like if you can contribute concerning that particular topic in a case where the parents of a particular person has been abused or insulted and then the person goes with his or her parents to the place to go and fight try as much as possible in whatever situation it might be not to explode the matter if the person's parents was beaten of course passions are high but in the moments of your passion in the extremities of your passion. Try as much as possible not to propound the case, to expound, expand the case. As much as it is that your mom or your dad was abused, make sure you try and ensure that the person who has wronged your parents sees the wrongdoing in such acts. Rather than going there to throw tantrums and then destroy people's things, which would only make a mistake trying to correct a disaster and then it will become an unfortunate situation. It's always good you resolve issues through effective communication. Effective communication can stop even international wars. But then when you put passion before effective communication, a lot of things go wrong. So in such a case, you have to communicate, make the person see reasons. If the person refuses to be reasonable, you can take up the person lawfully. You can report the person to one of the law enforcement agents, like the police, and then they will take it in due course from there. Yes, that's it. You've heard Israel. Israel have handled this, this situation very well, and they have said it all. And um, definitely, this guy, he just walked up with his mom to the shopping mall, mall to get grocery. So initially, the plan was not to fight or anything. But what happened was that this guy in particular, they called their number and the security man refused to allow them in after passing their number. They've been sitting there a long time and um, the guy just passed their number and like, ah, madam, waiting now, go back, go back. And he started shouting. He was so aggressive, nothing more than that. And he could not talk to the, to the mom very well and uh, started arguing with the mom, started yeah, abusing the woman. And he never knew, in court, he never knew that the child or the children of the woman were around. So <laughs> it all happened. And I was not even around it, but I was just like begging them that don't fight, please don't fight. When I, when I get inside, I discover that the guy and the other man, they started fighting. So for me, I don't see any reason why um, the guy will insult the mother and the post court free said it all and everything but as for me i, I will definitely be asked but seriously what are you reacting to when you can easily end this situation maturely meaning he has said it all mm -hmm. i hand it to you yeah so uh on this note i'd like you to put this thing at the back of your mind practice social distancing as we earlier said if you can't practice that due to probably you are with family members ensure you wash your hands at regular interval and try not to go out try as much as possible not to step out of your, of your door and then please and please ensure in one way or the other you are making the world a better place you have so many hates you have so many vices to fight with, to fight against in the world presently. And we shouldn't try to aggravate these situations. Rather, we should try to seek out ways through which we could abolish all these vices. Thank you. Okay, and please tell them to subscribe and like the video.
can you like, please tell them to like and subscribe yeah 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 please as much as um you've enjoyed listening to this channel please kindly just uh, you see this subscribe button and the like button just use a second to um press them and then you would uh, by so doing encourage more videos and then of course, refer your friends, your friends and families to this channel. I'm sure you'll do that. Thank yeah, you. Definitely. So thanks for watching. Since the onset of COVID-19 pandemic, we have recorded a sharp rise in the incidence of domestic and sexual violence against our women and children in this society. A few days ago, we lost a young, promising female student of the University of Benin. Uwaila Omozo to the hands of rapists. As women mothers, we are raising our voices in anger. And we are saying enough of this madness. Enough of this. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop this. Stop this. Stop this violence now.